So, what is intelligence? Understanding human cognition and intelligence has been a quest of humanity since ages. It has been a hard problem because we're trying to understand a tool using the tool itself. But now that we've been able to make significant breakthroughs in simulating the human brain, let's use parallels with it to understand better. The two main schools of thought in AI research have been connectionist versus symbolic AI. Analogous to the System 1 and System 2, thinking inside the human brain, as described by Daniel Kahneman in Thinking Fast and Slow, Intelligence, both in our brains and in machines, has two key approaches. Emergent versus explicit. Intuition versus reasoning. Fast versus slow. In the initial years of AI research, symbolic approach was dominant. Similar to the system two thinking inside the human brain. This is deliberate, logical, and step-by-step. -step. Think solving a math problem. In symbolic AI, symbols are explicitly defined and their meaning is directly programmed by humans. The intelligence is largely encoded in the definitions and the rules that govern how these symbols can be manipulated and reasoned with. IBM's Deep Blue, which was the first chess engine to have defeated a grandmaster, is a great example which primarily used a symbolic AI approach. Its chess playing ability was based on a handcrafted evaluation function designed by chess grandmasters and computer scientists. After the failure of systems to achieve a considerable breakthrough in achieving human-level intelligence, a shift was made to a connectionist approach, akin to the system one thinking inside the brain. It is quick, automatic, pattern-based. Think instant face recognition. In connectionist AI-based algorithms, symbols, like words or image features, are typically represented as dense vectors of numbers. The meaning and intelligence doesn't reside in any single number in the vector, but rather arises from the learned relationships amongst these symbols. For example, a specific mathematical operation on the vectors of king, man, and woman results in a vector that is close to the learned vector representation of queen. DeepMind's Alpha Zero is an excellent example of the connectionist-based approach, which was given only the basic rules of chess and learned to play entirely by playing games against itself. In the quest to achieve human-level intelligence, or artificial general intelligence, the goal is to enable these models to think in a hybrid approach, using both symbolic and connectionist AI approaches, similar to the human brain. But the most striking insight remains how intelligence emerges beautifully from the fabric of language, simply by learning relationships between input tokens. Large language models like ChatGPT vividly demonstrate this. Trained merely to predict the next word, they develop unexpected intelligence beyond language, suggesting a powerful path towards AGI through scaling the learning of these relationships. This incredible exploration, however, is equally shadowed by the potential terrors of birthing an intelligence superior to us. We live in the best of times. We live in the worst of times.